Recently, at the end of 2022, a gate made of reddish sandstone was erected in front of the Humboldt Forum. What kind of gate is it? Who put it there? What is the story behind it? And what is the symbolism? The gate is a replica of an ancient Indian gate, the famous East Gate of Sanchi. The original gate is part of one of the oldest and most important preserved Buddhist shrines in India and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1989. Its beginning dates back to the 3rd century BC, to the time of Emperor Ashoka, who is considered the first great promoter of Buddhism in India and had stupas built on a hill in Sanchi, where relics of Buddha were kept and worshipped. In the 1st century BC, the largest stupa in the complex was given for magnificent entrance gates, decorated with lavish pictorial ornamentation, facing east, south, west and north which were inserted into the stone fence surrounding it. The east gate, which is pictured here, was the main entrance. After the almost complete displacement of Buddhism in India by the 12th century, the complex fell into oblivion. In the 19th century, British colonial officials discovered and explored the site, and until 1870, a cast of the east gate, consisting of many components, was made on site for the South Kensington Museum in London, now the Victorian Albert Museum. The South Kensington Museum in turn made several more copies in London to sell to other European museums. One such true to original replica and plaster was acquired by the Museum für Völkerkunde, the Museum of Ethnology in Berlin in 1886. The more than a hundred components of this plaster copy are now in the external depot of the Museum of Asian Art. The founding directors of the Humboldt Forum had the idea of installing another replica of the gate about five years ago. The contract for this was awarded to the Bamberg-based natural stone company Hermann Graser in January 2022. The Franconian company had already been involved in the reconstruction of the Humboldt Forum on several portals and designed the curved stone benches. Two months after taking over the contract, the Graza company scanned the plaster cast of the gate in the museum depot with a 3D scanner and then assembled them in the computer as a 3D model. The digital data was used to program a robot that roughly milled out the shapes. Then up to 10 sculptors worked out the details such as faces, leaves and ornaments. Two sculptors from India were also involved. So it was a challenge to produce and erect the gate within one year. So-called red main sandstone from Röttbach in Lower Franconia was used, which has a fine grain and homogeneous colouring and comes way close to the original sandstone in India. The reliefs mostly tell legends from Buddhist tradition, such as the dream of Maya Devi, the mother of Buddha, of a white elephant touching her right side, announcing the birth of a strong son. Another scene shows the Buddha leaving the palace to lead an ascetic life, leading to enlightenment. A representation of Buddha in human form was not yet common at that time. Hence, its presence is depicted in various forms such as a stupa, wheel, footprint or lotus bud. The three figures represent human figures such as guards, servants, riders or animal figures such as elephants and are therefore primarily intended to represent sovereignty. But a yakshi, a female nature spirit, is also depicted. Certain features of the yakshi figure such as its smiling face, nudity and voluptuousness are associated with fertility. The yakshi is usually depicted in a curving pose with one hand touching a branch. Yakshis played an important role as a decorative element in early Buddhist monuments and can be found in many ancient Buddhist archaeological sites. It is noticeable that the gate is not complete, parts are missing. This is an archaeological copy. Defects and weathering were faithfully reproduced and not added. However, there was one challenge. The gate in India has since undergone further changes due to weathering and is no longer in the same conditions as the 1870 copy. Therefore, a commission of experts together with the Bamberg company decided how to proceed in each case. The gate, that now stands in front of the copy of the Baroque facade of the Berlin's Palace, 
is therefore actually a copy of the copy of the copy of the gate and shows the condition of the gate from 1870. Sounds complicated, but those who have followed my explanations probably understand what I mean. The gate is about 11 meters high and weighs 150 tons. The Humboldt Forum Foundation in the Berlin Palace financed the 1.6 million euros for the project. The San Shi Gate is intended to draw attention to the exhibitions in the Asian Museum in the Humboldt Forum, attract visitors and bring good luck. The Indian ambassador was delighted at the presentation. The San Shi Gate now stands in the east as a counterpart to the Brandenburg Gate in the west as a beautiful symbol of the connection between East and West in general. Finally, this corresponds to the Buddha's message of peace, compassion and love for all living beings conveyed in the imagery of the gate. A beautiful conclusion to which I have nothing more to add. As always, I am happy about comments, the support of my channel and if you don't want to miss any more Berlin videos, please subscribe to my channel. All the best and see you then. Bye.